Good morning. This is Good News Friday. Now, I was wondering if this is really good news. Uh, more people getting sick and dying. I don't know. But it's entertaining, at least. You know, maybe you are like me. You think about certain people. People that you talk to over these past few years. That's what I do. I, these people, they pop up in my memory. Well, these are people that were, they were very, very confident. And they said, you know, I got this. I figured it all out. I understand this whole thing. I'm a genius. Right? So we have this disease now. And we need to lock people up. And we're going to take this thing. And I got this. And then you say, well, maybe you should have a look at this. Well, this doesn't look right. Maybe you're making a mistake here. And they said, no, 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 I got this. They were very confident, right? I got this perfectly well. I'm a genius about this. And you are a tinfoil hat and you are crazy. I'm not listening to you. You know? And I just find this very amusing, because they went from being total geniuses to total idiots in just a few weeks. And now they are starting to, to understand that they have been wrong all of this time. <laughs> this is very entertaining. Right. So yeah, I'll tell you about these uh, people in Norway. This was on uh, state-funded media, NRK. The headline was this, more people getting sick and die. Increased mortality in Norway and Europe. And they talked to this doctor and he says, I'm worried. We have already reached the number of patients we had expected only in 2025. All sorts of ailments, we don't understand why, and he's been in contact with several other emergency units in the country. And they all report this mysterious increase in the number of patients. There are no diseases that stand out in particular. It's worrying, he says. And now he's shouting out to the health authorities. And I, I can just imagine these people watching what's happening. You see? And they start to suspect that they have been idiots. This total contrast is funny. Somebody says, I got this. And then the next day they say, oh, I was a jerk. I was an idiot. It's funny, isn't it? I think so. Here's another one who got it wrong. Uh, the CNBC finance reporter, Jim Cramer. Now, I'll post a link to that video because this guy is crying in the TV studio. Why? Because he recommended people to buy Facebook shares. And now Facebook is crashing. So he's sitting there and he's apologizing. I was wrong. I apologize. Says. Crying. And behind him you see that statistic of uh, Facebook. Meta. Yeah, Meta, uh, just totally crashing. Meta lost $677 billion this year, so far. Imagine this. So he got it wrong. Which is funny, you know. Now, maybe Facebook, maybe you should uh, fact check this thing, you know. Fact check that video. <laughs> Stupid Facebook. That, that's another thing, you know, they thought they could do anything. Let's silence people, that's a good idea, we just do it. We don't like these people, we just shut them up. That's gonna work, you know. Now they lost 777, sorry, 677 billion dollars. It's amazing. Total contrast. We are the winners. We are the best. Oh boy, we are losing now, aren't we?
and they just keep fact checking, don't they? Idiots. All right, I also want to mention this. Elon Musk is now the owner of Twitter. Happened yesterday. He paid $44 billion for it. He's now the official owner of Twitter. And he said, uh, he's tweeted, the bird is freed. He said, he fired some people already. Uh, Twitter chief executive Parag Agrawal and chief financial officer Ned Segal and legal affairs and policy chief Vijaya Gadde. Gadde. So they are gone. And apparently he's going to fire a lot of people. Right? Now, the big question that I have, will he reinstate Trump? That's the big one, isn't it? I think so. I think he will. He said something about it, that he would do it. But Trump will be back on Twitter. That's, that would be sweet. I love this. Uh, my personal thing is Katie Hopkins. Katie Hopkins was banned on Twitter a long time ago and I got so pissed off about it that I left Twitter. I just couldn't stay. So maybe Katie Hopkins will be back too. We'll see. Well, I really enjoy this stuff, you know. We see it here in Sweden. People, they are complaining now, the lefties. They are complaining about the new government. And they say, democracy is gone. <laughs> this is so funny. That's right, that's what they say. The only thing is that, of course, the democracy is actually now working. For the first time in Sweden, for in a long time, it's actually working. Because now we have a government that sort of represents the people. You see, the, their declaration, their government declaration, it actually looks like it's the people talking, you know, for the first time in a long time. And these lefties, they say, oh, this is democracy, it's dead in Sweden. And people, I think people start to understand this. Democracy to the lefties, this is what they think. That's right. What they, if the, what they think rules, then that is democracy, you know? That's what they think. <laughs> Alright. I wish you a great weekend. Be good.